fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail of a killer. I'll Silver. Away. Dust plumed from beneath their horses' hooves as the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan rode slowly along a sun-baked, rock-studded trail. Suddenly, Silver whinnied and broke into a trot with Scout and Victor following suit. As the horses skirted a bend in the woodland trail... The masked man and his companions saw the reason. A creek winding through the trees. The water, as they hollered upon the creek bank, looked cool and inviting. Easy, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. oh, golly, that water looks good. It's no wonder Silver made a beeline for it. <laughs> it's plenty hot day. Horses need long, cool drink. Yeah, I guess we could all use a drink. Steady, big fella. <laughs> Take it easy, Dan. Too much water isn't good for you when you've been a long time in the sun. Yes, sir. <laughs> Horses have good time in water. <laughs> I don't blame them. Gosh, I wish we had time for a swim. I do too, Dan. But we've got to push on if we want to make Sutter's ghost by nightfall. Now, we cook dinner on trail? No, Tonto. Wendy Smith, the old prospector we met about a year ago, lived just beyond that bend. I think we can arrange to have dinner there. Oh, not that right? He make us plenty good meal last time we see him. Oh, golly, I hope he's home. I'm hungry. Oh, you'll soon know. Here, Silver. <laughs> what is it, big fella? What's the matter? He acts like he's listening for something. Get behind that tree, Dan. What? Hurry. Yes, sir. Who do you think come? I don't know, King Masabi. The outlaw known as a masked killer is supposed to hide out somewhere in these woods. I don't want to risk Dan unnecessarily. Uh, mass killer, plenty bad medicine. Yes, he's murdered two people in Sutter's Gulf in the last six months and robbed several more. Sheriff not able to catch him. No, he's been too clever concealing his trail. Oh, wait. Uh, silver winning. Maybe him too. Oh, it's a horse. Grab his bridle, fellow. Uh, me get him. What do you suppose became of his rider? Uh, you look here. Bullet, gray saddle horn, make scar. Yes, you're right. Whoever rode this horse was a target. Golly, you don't think that... Initials on the saddle say TB. The horse can't have strayed far from his owner in that brush, Tonto. We'll see if we can trace his trail. Ah, you think owner, victim, a mass killer? Well, I don't know, Kimosabe. But we're going to make it our business to find out. Come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Sutter's Gulch, Windy Smith, the grizzled old prospector who lived in a cabin on the trail some miles from town, 
sat in the office of the sheriff. I swear, Sheriff, I'd rather been spread eagle and hogtied than have such a thing happen. I ought to be shot for allowing him to go into Rex's pen in the first place. Hey, Thunder Windy, you can waste more words than anyone I know. Quit beating around the bush and say what you came for. I reckon I've got to sooner or later. It's, uh, it's your deputy, Todd Baker. Well, what about him? Hey, Todd went out looking for the mask killer. You don't mean Todd he... Todd won't look for no more outlaws, Sheriff. He's dead. Dead? That masked coyote killed him. I wish to heaven he had, as long as poor Todd had to die. What do you mean? It wasn't the masked critter who done him in, Sheriff. It was, it was my dog, Rex. That mastiff you keep penned up out at your cabin? I don't savvy this at all. It wasn't no fault of mine. I told Todd the dog was dangerous, but he wouldn't pay no attention. Just opened the gate of the pen and walked right in. Well, what in thunder did he do that for? He said he wanted to feed Rex some of the victuals I'd cooked him for lunch. It was hardly more than a minute before it was all over. Leaping catfish. I didn't know that hound was a killer. What do you keep him for? For protection, Sheriff. I ain't as spry as I used to be. Kind of dangerous living way out in the trail like I do... With a masked killer hiding out in that neck of the woods? Yeah, I reckon you're right, Wendy. He don't cut into strangers at all. Reckon I'm the only person who can enter and leave that pen alive. Still, ain't no denying it's murder. And if you order me to have Rex shot, uh, I'd be willing to do it. Well, I don't see how that help matters, Wendy. The hound might come in handy if the masked killer took a notion to rob your place. Uh, thank you, Sheriff. Reckon I'll leave it to you to notify Todd's folks, seeing as you were his boss. <coughs> well, I guess I'd better be getting along. Got a ways to travel before I get home. Evening, Sheriff. I brought you a jar of my new peach preserves. That... Why, Wendy Smith, when did you come to town? Howdy, Betty. I just came in to see the sheriff. You must have got some of them there peaches in your cheeks, Betty. They're blooming prettier in a picture. Maybe I did. Ben says I got my preserves all over everything else in the pantry. How's Ben making out with the livery stable? Livery stable? Why, Wendy, haven't you heard? Ben sold that two weeks ago. He's going to buy a freight line. Sure, Betty and Ben have struck it rich. An uncle and East had clean forgot about died and left him a heap of money. Ben says it was you who brought us good luck, Wendy. He says just before he picked up the letter from the lawyer with the news, you happened by and gave him a rabbit's foot for his watch job. <laughs> Say, if you got any more of them rabbit feet, Wendy, I wouldn't mind having one myself. Well, uh, plumb happy to hear about it, Betty. Uh, you two ain't spent all of your inheritance already, have you? Oh, heavens, no. We haven't even begun. Ben's saving it to buy the freight line. But we took the money we got for the livery stable and refurnished the whole house. What a mighty handsome-looking house it is now. You ought to see it, Wendy. Oh, yes, you must. Well, it's mighty nice of you, Betty, and I'd like nothing better than to oblige, but... I gotta be starting for home. Well, it's kinda late to be starting back now. Well, much too late. Well, something might happen to you riding that trail alone at night. Why, you might even run into the masked killer. Appears well, to me you've got more to fear from that critter, Betty, than a poor old codger like me. What with all that money you've got in your house? Yes. Ben and I have thought of that. But it's in a safe place. The coffee jar in the pantry. He'd never think to look there. <laughs> Yeah, only a woman to think of hiding money in a place like that. Well, it is awful dark outside for riding the trail home. Reckon I got no choice, though. Yes, you have. You're spending the night in town. Ben and I can put you up in our new guest room. You'll be the first to use it. Oh, shucks, Betty. I don't want nobody going to all that bother for an old coot like me. Oh, it's no bother at all. Ben would never forgive me if I didn't bring you to see him after the good luck you brought us. Uh, well, if you put it that way, you reckon I can't refuse? Of course you can't. Come along now. I've got to get dinner. We'll make it an evening to remember. <laughs> Tight grip on that horse's rein, Dan. I don't want to lose him in the dark. Ah, him may be murder clue. We not find rider anywhere. Oh, golly, this horse could only talk. I'll bet the masked killer knows where his rider is. There, cabin ahead. Windy Smith's place. It doesn't look as if there's anyone home. There isn't a light. Him may be sleep. Perhaps, although it's still early. Oh, Silver, oh, boy, oh, oh, scout. Oh, I'll take charge of that horse now, Dan. Yeah, here's the range. Oh, thanks. Hey, gosh. Look at the size of that dog. Boy, he's half as big as a horse. Easy, boy. Hello, boy. Come to welcome us, Dan, son. wait. Don't go in that pen. Oh, he isn't dangerous. He's just trying to be friendly. All right, you boy. 
man of sense take him to her. This way, Dan. I'll handle the dog. <laughs> See? He just wants to be friends. Uh, what's your name, boy? Huh? What's your name? Who? That's strange. Signs say him plenty dangerous. Let's take a look at that sign, Tata. Uh, you, you read it. Beware of the dog. He is a man killer. Tata, look, paint's still wet. Ah, well, he must paint sign today. Yes, but why? That dog is perfectly tame. Mm, me not know. All right, let's go on to the house. Maybe Wendy can tell us. Oh, put down that towel, Wendy. Ben will give me all the help with the dishes I need. Sure, you just pick out a chair and make yourself comfortable, Wendy. And when you get sleepy, just say the word and I'll show you to your room. Well, if it ain't too much trouble, Betty, I feel kind of tuckered out right now. Reckon I can't stand them trips to town like I used to. I thought you looked a bit peaked. You... You look different somehow from the last time we saw you. Doesn't he, Ben? Yeah, sort of younger. Don't seem to be as much gray in your beard as they used to be. And your hair... I guess that's what comes from living in the woods, Ben. Plenty of fresh air and sun makes a man look younger. <laughs> I'll bring the lamp. Come along, Wendy. You've got the best room in the house. Sure does a man a powerful lot of good to see you youngsters looking so happy. <laughs> oh, you're the cause of it, Wendy. You and your rabbit's foot. If it hadn't been for that, we might not have received the inheritance. There isn't a thing in the world Ben and I want for now. We have each other and money to buy just the business Ben has always envied. Must take a heap of money to buy a freight line. $25,000. Come on, Wendy. Shopping gee horse affair. Don't see how you can sleep a wink with all that money in the house. If I was you, Ben, I'd put it in the bank for safekeeping. After tonight, I won't need to be concerned about it, Wendy. I'm exchanging it for the freight line tomorrow. Here's your room, Wendy. Oh, mighty pretty, too. See, don't mind if I sleep with my gun under my pillow, do you, Betty? Why, no, but what for? Well, I just got a peculiar feeling something's going to happen tonight. Happen here? Wendy, what do you mean? Now, there's no reason for you to get upset. It's just a feeling I got in my bones. Kind of get the itching when there's trouble brewing. Same as when there's rain in the air. Oh, what kind of trouble could happen to us? Well, that mask critter's been mighty active around town lately. And that money you've got hid here is mighty tempting. Ben, you don't think the masked killer will come here? Oh, of course not, honey. But if he heard that we have money in well, the house, how could he... he? Nobody in town knows where we keep it, except the sheriff. Well, maybe so. But if I was you, Ben, I'd sleep with my shooting iron under my pillow. Same as me. That masked coyote has a way of finding things out. Oh, go on with you, you old windbag. You're worse than an old woman with uh, your rich and bones. You have a good night's sleep, Wendy. I'll try to, Betty, but I don't know, considering the feeling I got. <laughs> there, little codger. I'll bet if he saw a mouse, he'd leap clear out of bed. Oh, ben, I'm worried. Oh, now, honey, don't let your imagination get the best of you. We bought locks for all the doors. But the mass they... killer might be in town right this minute. He might be anybody. Maybe even the sheriff, for all we know. Wait, <laughs> you have got it bad. Oh, I'm serious, Ben. I wish we'd listen to Wendy sooner and put the money in the bank. At least promise me this. Sleep with your pistol under your pillow. All right, honey. And if that mass killer so much as puts his foot in his house, I'll pepper him full of holes. <laughs> Here, Betty. No, I'm going with you. There he is. Oh, Ben, be careful. It's the mass killer. Lift your hands or I'll... Look out. He's raising his gun. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. As the shot echoed in the dark, Ben staggered and crumpled to the floor. Betty quickly knelt beside him, sobbing and cradling his head in her lap. 
Then she heard footsteps approaching. Who... who is it? It's, it's me, Wendy. I heard the shot. What in thunder's happened, Betty? What are you sitting here in the dark for? Oh, Wendy. Oh. Ben's been shot. Oh. It was the masked killer. The low-down skunk. I wish I'd been here. I'd have drilled him to kingdom come. Here, let me light this lamp. We'll see how bad Ben's been hurt. Oh. Oh. Oh, let me look at that wound. Well, it ain't nothing but a scratch. Buddha just grazed his forehead. Oh, thank heaven. I'll get some water. Sounds like the sheriff, Betty. Reckon half the town must have heard that shot. Well, I'll let him in. What happened, Betty? Who fired that gun? Oh, Sheriff, I'm so glad you're here. It was the masked killer. He, he tried to kill Ben. Hey, the snake. Did he steal your money? The money? I, I've been so worried about Ben, I, I haven't looked. Seth, you take a look around outside. Might be some footprints we can trail. Just you say, Sheriff. Oh. How is he, Wendy? Did he get it bad? Just a scratch, Sheriff. Won't take a minute to bring Ben around. Oh, I, I'm all right, what happened? Sheriff! Sheriff, the money! It's gone! What? 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 Ben Catfish! You don't mean to say that masked coyote stole your whole inheritance? Betty, you, you don't mean he... Oh, Ben, it's all gone. $25,000. He took it from the coffee jar. Great day. How in tarnation did he know where to look for the cash? Just like I was telling Betty and Ben after dinner. Ain't no way of figuring how the masked killer knows things. He, he just knows. Oh, Wendy, if we'd only listened to you oh, before... Oh, it's my fault. Wendy warned us this might happen, and I laughed at him. Oh, no, Ben, you mustn't reproach yourself. I, I guess it just wasn't meant to be for us to spend all that money. Which way did that hombre go, Betty? Oh, Sheriff, I don't know. All I can remember is seeing him with that gun and, and the flame and Ben falling to the floor. Either of you see what he looked like? It was too dark to see much of anything. Yeah, the boys may have been searching for their footprints, Sheriff. Ain't no sign of them. Ground's too hard packed. Oh, if this don't beat everything... Ain't a single clue to the masked killer anywhere. Reckon you'll just have to scour them woods near my cabin where he's supposed to hide out, Sheriff. I'll scour them, all right. If need be, I'll burn them down and smoke the killer out. <laughs> and don't you give up hope, Betty. I'll track down that critter or turn in my star. First thing tomorrow, I'm taking a posse near Wendy's place. I aim to catch the masked killer and make him swing. <laughs> Early the next day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto saddled their horses in front of Windy Smith's cabin where they'd spent the night. Dan was taking leave of the master he'd become friendly with. There, that does it, Tonto. Uh, uh, we ready to ride now. Come on, Dan. We're leaving for Sutter's Gulch. Yes, sir. Goodbye, boy. Maybe you and I will meet again sometime, huh? He sure is a fine dog. Wish we could take him with us. Steady, big fella. You'll have enough to handle keeping a tight rein on this stray horse. Easy, boy. We're going to turn him over to the sheriff? Yes, Dan. You'll know whose initials are on the horse's saddle if anyone does. You'll also be interested in learning the identity of the masked killer. Ah. Golly, you don't mean... Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. Get along, Vic. Get along. Keep together, boys. It'll be time to spread out when we get to the woods near Wendy's place. All right, Sheriff. You ain't serious about smoking the mask killer out of them woods, are you, Sheriff? That's a powerful lot of brush. I promised the townsfolk I'd bring back that murdering coyote, Wendy, and by thunder I will. Even if it takes me Sheriff, from Sheriff, look. Horseman hitting this way. Hey, that tall hombre on the white horse, he's masked. The mask killer. The mask killer. Rain up. Rain up or we'll drill you. Push him before the horse goes over the hole. That's Todd Baker's horse had good with him. There's his initials on the saddle, T.B. Well, darned if it ain't. How'd you come by that horse, stranger? My friends and I found it wandering in the woods. He's the masked killer, Sheriff, and my name ain't Wendy Smith. Is your name Wendy Smith? You heard me say it, didn't you? And you don't recognize me or Tonto? You doggone tootin' I recognize you. Same as any man would who ain't blind in one eye and can't see out the other. You're the masked killer. Sure. The sable robbed Ben of $25,000 in cash last night. Most likely he's got the money on him, Sheriff. Right. If he ain't, he knows where it's hid. Yes, I think I do know where it's hidden. That's all the proof I need. Take off that mask. Don't touch that mask. I'll get it, Sheriff. Oh, doggone you like to have broke my hand. That'll teach you not to carry a gun in it. Hey, what do you mean, Bert? Listen to me, all of you. I'm not the masked killer, but I do know who he is. Follow me and I'll prove it. No, no, don't listen to him, Sheriff. It's a trick. 
A trick so he can turn himself and his pards loose. Here, my gun, Sheriff. This should convince you I'm up to no trick. I ain't saying, but I'll take him. All right, mister, wheel your horse around and take us to that proof you spoke of. Of all the darn fools! Shut up, Windy! This hombre is the masked killer. We've got him hogtied. If he ain't, we'll know when we get to the money who is. got into that mask, Quitter Sheriff. That's my place he's heading for. Yeah, there's that man killing Mastiff of yours. Maybe he's taking us to the woods on the other side of your cabin, Wendy. Oh, Silver. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. What in tarnation are we stopping here for, stranger? This is Wendy Smith's place. Yes, I know. Down, Rex! Down! I told you Rex don't cotton a stranger, Sheriff. He's in a mean mood. We better be moving on. Oh, blast his insides. I'd like to drill him for killing poor Todd Baker. What do you mean, Sheriff? I mean that hound's a man-killer. He done in one of the best deputies the sheriff ever had. Is that what Windy told you? Sure shooting is, stranger. You want to make something of it? Yes, a lie. Dan? Yes, sir? Does that look like a mean and vicious dog to you? Mean and vicious? Well, golly, no. He, he just wants to be friendly. Here, I'll show you. Come back here. What do you think you're doing? He's going to prove that the dog isn't a killer, Sheriff. Don't let him go in that pen. He'll be mangled. Come back here, boy. That hound will murder you. And the dog's jumping at him. He... What? He's licking the boy's hand. Well, I'll be doggone. Windy, I Sheriff, thought you said... Sheriff, likely the kid stopped here before and made friends with Rex. He never acted that way before. He's always acted that way to people who treated him with kindness. Would you like to prove it, Sheriff? Oh, me? Uh... Uh, no, no, I'll take your word for it. Very well, steady. We'll go into the house. Oh, no, you don't. That's my house. And I ain't admitting the likes of you. I don't say, be what we're stopping here for anyway. To prove the identity of the masked killer. It's a trap, Sheriff. Don't go with him. Yeah, you keep quiet. But, uh, a gun. The engine's got the drop on us. And you, Sheriff, get off horse. And go in house like masked man say. If this is a trick, stranger. You'd better start saying your prayers. The boys will riddle you when you try to come out of that house. They'll have no occasion to fire. My friends and I spent the night in this cabin, Sheriff. I think it'll prove as interesting to you as it did to us. Prowlers! Sheriff, you I... You will not go in house. You wait here. Ben, you come with me. Right, Sheriff. Open the door, Sheriff. It's unlocked. Go ahead, look around. You may find some of the things I found. After I learned the dog wasn't a man-killer, Wendy tried to make him appear. I don't say, he. Suppose you start with the mantle over the fireplace. Say, this here looks like Todd Baker's watch. Oh, it is his. Got his wife's and baby's picture in the back. Ben, take a look at that table drawer. Hmm? What? Why, it's a money pouch from the city bank. Didn't the masked killer rob the bank and kill one of the guards some time ago? He sure did. I see it now. The masked killer came here to rob Wendy while he was visiting Betty and me in town. Isn't it more likely that the masked killer lives here? You mean Wendy knows who that murdering coyote is? I'm sure he does. Let me show you something. Now, this frame used to hold two tin types, one of Wendy and one of his son. Now there's only one picture in it, the one of the son. Thunderation. I clean forgot about old Wendy having a son. Didn't turn out so well as I remember. Got mixed up with a Crowder gang across the county line, rustling steers and waylaying stagecoaches. <laughs> he sure is a spitting image of his old man. There have been other changes made, too. Wendy Smith never touched a drink in his life. Now there's a bottle of whiskey on the table. Say, that's funny. Yeah. And Wendy used to be a good cook. But that stove hadn't been used for some time. Doggone if that ain't right. I don't understand. I do. The reason things ain't the same here as they used to be is because the mask killer is living here and forced Wendy to change his habits. Now, all we have to do Sheriff, is ask... The last time I saw Wendy Smith was a year ago. Todd and I had dinner with him. Yet today, he didn't even recognize us. Hey, where in Sam Hill do you think you're going? Outside. Are you coming? You're darn tootin' I'm coming. You ain't getting away that easy. Keep those guns out. You'll need them. Just try to make your getaway, mister. I'll riddle you. Look! Sheriff's calling his man. Yeah, sheriff's got the drop on him. About time you followed my advice, Sheriff. Was 
Plain as day, this hombre was the masked killer when we first laid eyes on him. Hey, take your hands off me. Let's have a real look at you. Sheriff, stop him. He's aiming to kill me. Let Wendy go, stranger. I'll shoot. Do not shoot. I'm showing you up for what you really are. The masquerade is over. A false beard. This man is not Wendy Smith, Sheriff. He's his outlaw son. Great day. Sure on the old coot son. When I came home, I found him dying. I knew he was popular around town, so I thought I'd pass myself off as him. So nobody'd suspect who I really was. You know me better as the masked killer. And I'm living up to my reputation right now. The guy's pulling the gun. Not very far. And this. If you look through his pockets, Ben, I think you'll find the money he stole from you. Well, well, you're right. Why, it's all here. The whole 25,000. And a mask. The disguise of the masked killer. Thunderation. To think that murdering coyote was right where we could get him all the time. We didn't know it. Here, masked man, take back your guns. Thanks, Sheriff. I'm glad to admit I was wrong. That fellow on the ground there murdered Todd Baker. Probably because Todd came too close to the truth. Well, he won't kill anyone else in Sutter's Gulch. Thanks to this masked man who... Say, where is he? Well, Dad read it if he didn't slip away right out from under our noses. I'll send me away! Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.